Hello everyone, for today's video I wanted to share my top bag care tips. Now, you know, designer bags are very expensive, so we really want to look after them and get, you know, make them last for a long time. Whenever I'm buying an expensive bag, my intention is to kind of have it forever really. I know sometimes the style might change and I know in years to come I might not love it, but when I'm buying it, I buy it with the intention to have it forever and so therefore make it last forever because obviously it's a lot of money to spend and you want to make sure you're looking after it. So I'm not going to ramble, I'm just going to jump straight into my first tip. The first thing is to not overfill your bags and I have done this many times in the past, but I'm really trying to make a conscious effort not to. It can really damage your bags. So for example, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is the bag that I will overfill the most out of any bag just because it is huge as you can see. You can fit so much in there and I'm always so tempted and I have in the past for years overfilled it. However, really bad to do. So with this, it doesn't too matter too much about the bottom, but if this was a leather bag, that would have started to stretch the bottom because of the weight. And then also, it's the pressure on the handle. So here, it can really put the pressure on the stitching and it can loosen the stitching. Luckily, this is fine, but with leather bags, you need to be a lot more careful with. And even with this, I'm being a lot more careful because I don't want to damage this bag or any of my bags. I want them to last and overfilling them is really bad. And especially you have like another bag, for example, a smaller bag, um, maybe that's a bit more structured. If you overfill it, you can really kind of change the shape of the bag, you know. So maybe it just goes, maybe it goes like this and then you're overfilling it and then you're pushing it out and it can change the shape, especially if it's a delicate leather. And you don't want to do that because your bag's never going to look the same again and it's not going to last very long. My next tip is to protect the interior of your bags. So obviously the interior of your bags you don't see, but you still want to keep it nice, especially say for in the future. You know, it's a style that you end up not using as much and you do want to sell it on the pre-loved market. Having the interior clean is really important and also... You know, I just think they're luxury bags. It's nice to look after them. It's nice to have the interior all nice and fresh and clean. So I know some people use big organizers, like I think the Samorga organizer is very popular, but I like to use these. So I generally don't use big organizers in my bags, not even in my Neverfull, and especially not in the smaller ones. So I like to use little pouches like this. This is um, from Kate Spade. It's really, really sweet. And I just pop all of my little bits in. This actually is wipe clean, which is great because I can clean this. And I always put like my lipstick, powder, any makeup, also hand gel, hand creams. They're things that can really ruin the inside of your bag if it leaks. Especially some things depending on what bag you have, it can seep through. It can seep through like the edges of the stitching and it can stain the outside of the bag. Especially if it was something like say hand gel. Um, so you really want to be careful and honestly these little organizers you can get them from anywhere kate spade is one of my favorite i used to also love the kath kiston ones i still do i have them in all different sizes suitable for all different bags and it's just a great way to really protect your bag and also it's more organized because you've got everything all together in a nice handy little pouch another thing that's really important is to be careful of color transfer so here i've got my alma bb it's in this beautiful ballerine pink color it's very pale and you really want to be careful of any pale bags, especially um, Louis Vuitton Vachetta is really bad for this. The handles, they can get really dirty and colour transfer when you're using things like gloves. So if I've got gloves, generally I won't hold the bag like this. I'll wear it as a, um, you know, like I'll wear it on the long strap, like on my shoulder. Or for example, I will wear it just on my arm. But you really want to be careful of gloves, especially leather gloves. Um, will stain this if you're not careful and just other things like say you have a brand new pair of jeans you know when this is pressing against it can get color transfer and you just really want to be careful of these issues because color transfer is something that's really hard to get out so once you have it on your bag it's really hard to get out and also it's a stain on your bag you really really don't want that so just be careful when using things like leather gloves brand new pair of jeans um, things like that on your bags especially the ones in the light colors um, personally, my dark colour bags, I don't worry about this at all, but with the light colour bags, it's definitely something that I'm aware of. The most important thing you can do for your bags to look after them is to store them correctly. And I can't stress this enough, how you store your bag 
is vital on how your bag is gonna last in 10, 20, 30 years time. So one of the biggest things is don't store it in sunlight. So my bags, I have them in my wardrobe and I have them with the door closed. So I have sliding wardrobes because I didn't want dust to get on all my stuff. <laughs> and that's the reason I decided to put on the sliding doors in my walk-in closet and I keep them in the dust bags as well. So they're obviously out of sunlight because they're in my wardrobes with the sliding doors, but also they're in the dust bags because you shouldn't be storing the bags in the boxes that they come with as much as you think, oh, that's great, you know, you think you're putting in the box, you're really protecting it. What you're not doing is you're not letting the leather and the canvas breathe, which is so important because if you don't let it breathe it can end up cracking and you can have so many different issues so store your bags in dust bags away from sunlight preferably on a shelf is the perfect solution if not you can put them in a drawer i do like to air them out every now and then so mine are on shelves in dust bags but what i will do is i'll open my wardrobes let some fresh air in the room take them out of the dust bags and just let them air every so often and my bags have always lasted really well and it really works for me. Another storage tip is to make sure you're storing them on shelves or something flat um, and you really want to kind of put them upright so you want to store it like this. If you have clutch bags you can store them flat but if your bag is a bag that stands up I would recommend standing it up and then you also want to fill it. So I don't do it with my Alma BB because it is very structured but other bags I do fill them with tissue paper um, just to keep the shape of the bag because you will find that if you don't sometimes they will sag in I had this issue with my speedy and now I fill it with tissue paper and stuff because when I wasn't filling it I noticed it started to dip in and then it was really hard to get these dips out and it actually took me a long time it took like months of having it stuffed to get the like creases and stuff that had come out they're kind of like my main bag care tips that I follow one other thing that I would recommend that I'm going to mention that I always do and it is I always check over my bags before I put them away so say I get back from wherever I am I take everything out of my bag I fill it up with the tissue paper if it's a bag that I don't want it to lose its shape and then I will just wipe it over with a microfiber cloth so this be a clean microfiber cloth I check there's no marks on it you know you don't want anything like imagine if you had like ice cream on one you know you could be able to wipe it off straight away before you put it away maybe with a little bit of water on a microfiber cloth and it'll be fine however if you didn't do that you might find that when it's sat there in your wardrobe or the shelf wherever you're storing it, it will then kind of ingrain into the material and then you have issues getting out and it can cause a permanent stain. So I always wipe over my bags and just make sure that they're okay, there's no marks or anything on them and then I can put them away to be safely stored and I know that they are safe there and they're gonna be fine and ready for next time I wanna use them. So I hope this video was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other bag care tips I haven't mentioned, please leave them below. Um, it would be really helpful for me and other people watching the video. So thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more luxury videos from me. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time. Bye.